Hello, I would like to present you a new program for the Bitbox. It's a new, small, very small console. You see, you can see my hand, so you can see its size, it's 5 centimeters, so 2 inches. Uh, let's restart it and look at the BitBoy. It's a Game Boy emulator. So, it's everything is hosted within the uh, internal flash of the chip. You have one menu to select the different games. So let's select Super Mario Land from the Big Boy. So everything is on screen, Super Mario Land, everything is running within the chip. Start. Okay, let's play a little bit just to check that it's not fake. You see, I'm just jumping around. You can see there is a non-default palette for this game, so the game has been colorized. It's actually black and white, but colorized, so every sprite has the same color and the background has the same color, which don't change during the game, but it's actually colorized. Let's reboot the console to get another game. Okay, small presentation. Okay. Uh, let's use, uh, I don't know, Dr. Mario. Sound is not currently working, but it has worked, so I may have done something wrong. I just need to debug it, but I just wanted to present the different results. Okay, so Mario, Dr. Mario is working, but I'm bad at it. Okay, let's try some last game with a non default with the default palette so not nothing special I don't know duck dates for example ah it's quite long never mind okay so you can see it's actually running so the resolution is the native resolution of the Game Boy color so not very precise we can do six hundred 40 by 480. Sorry for my accent, I'm uh, not English native. Okay, extra, 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 run it, run it, run it, run it, run. Okay, please do. I don't know. Okay, it's Niagara Falls. Please get me to Niagara Falls. So you can see the palette, which is the standard palette. Well, you could but anyone you want. Okay, and let's play a little bit. It's actually quite hard, but okay, I'm very bad. But it's quite running at full frame rate, and you see there is not many graphical uh, problems. There are some games which are problematic, but this one is actually good. Okay, that's it. For the presentation of the beatbox, you can include several different ROMs of it, of course, and then done with a small utility to embed it to the binary that you upload to the console. The uh, USB there is only for power. Okay, that was it. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.